Let's chat. If you follow the financial markets, you know the past couple of days has seen serious ups and downs. 800 point drop in one day for the Dow Jones Industrial Index. Wow. How do you protect your money? You turn to the experts with Hill and Hill. We have Morgan Hill joining us, and you have brought Rachel Baker along. Hi, Rachel. Hello. Great Jeff to meet you. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> you bet. Did you warn her about us? I did. <laughs> okay. I did. I don't All know right. if it, it helped, but uh, I did warn her. <laughs> um, what went through your thought before we get into some other questions when you heard the Dow had dropped 800 points? Yeah, we watch a lot of this, certainly in the work that we do with our, with our clients. Sure. Um, what happened the other day was there's something called an inverted yield curve. Now, that's a fancy way of saying that long-term bonds and short-term bonds, when people invest, mm -hmm. certainly if you go longer on something, ideally you would make more money. And at shorter, lower interest rate. Well, when those invert, they have a long history of being predictive of recessions. Mm -hmm. And so when that happened the other day, kind of spooked the markets and right. along with tariffs and all the other things, it just made the world markets nervous. Mm -hmm. And that's why we saw an 800 point drop. So I guess I should ask about diversifying whatever your portfolio is, no, how, no matter how big or how little. How does diversification really help you manage the risk or at least yeah. become more comfortable with it? Yeah, and one of the things that we do, and Rachel and I will both chat about this, right. is we actually look at a little broader view of diversification. So the typical, I've got 60% in stocks or 40% in bonds, mm -hmm. Well, that could be part of it, but we use a lot of other strategies. We actually have something that we write about in the book called the three worlds of money, where there's defensive strategies, growth, income, maybe emergency funds, and uh, you can see it on the screen, that we just think that there are more places where you want to diversify rather than, I hope the 60% in stocks and bonds is going to help me weather the storm. So we go a little bit broader and deeper, Chip. Are there any specific investments you might want to avoid in a situation like this? Rachel, you're up. I think that it's important um, to really know what your, your, your level of risk is. Mm -hmm. And so what we do is a detailed risk profile. Right. And what that does is help us determine what your thoughts are on the market, what your financial situation is, and it really helps us tailor our suggestions to you and what you're trying to get in retirement. Mm -hmm. Is the conventional wisdom of the younger you are, the more risk that you can comfortably take, or is that kind of fallen by the wayside. You know what? Actually, we still use something called the rule of 100. Mm -hmm. um, it's not science and it's not an old wives tale, but it is right. an age-based marker that you take your age, subtract it from 100, and that resulting number is kind of a target of the amount of risk that you should have. Mm -hmm. So certainly our bias in our firm is the older you are, mm -hmm. you probably want to be pulling back on the risk that you take. Sure. Not always true, but that's kind of how we like to approach it um, as we help people get to and through retirement successfully. Mm -hmm. What about interest rates? How do you look at those in this particular situation? And if you're close to retirement, how should that play into your longer term strategy? Yeah, you know, Rachel and I, one of the things that we do is we look at what's called interest rate risk. So you've got stock market risk on one side and you've mm -hmm. got interest rate risk on the other. And the problem that we're having right now, Chip, and, and we've all seen it, is we're actually seeing a move where interest rates by the Fed are starting to drop. So safe money, you know, bank, CDs, credit union, those types of things, we're actually seeing those are pretty low. Mm -hmm. So although it's safe, you might not be able to grow to keep up with your expenses. So we right. try to look at both interest rate risk and market risk as we navigate this thing called retirement. Which is a mm -hmm. rocky road and you should get the help of a pro, no doubt about it. You yes. mentioned a moment ago the three worlds of money. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate on that a little bit more for us? Yeah, um, Rachel, why don't you share just a little bit about how we use those three worlds and, and then we'll talk about some of the specifics that we use to help our clients navigate these kinds of times. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So one of the things that we look at is um, there's three things that you want for money and you can't get all three things out of one world. And so what we right. look at is putting your funds into each world to make sure that we diversify your retirement and make sure that we're reaching the goals that you're trying to get to. Because yeah. ideally, Chip, and I think folks listening at home know this, we all want to grow our money when times are good. Sure. Mm -hmm. Most of us don't want to lose it when times are bad. Right. And when you want some, you want to be able to get we'll some. To yeah. And I wish it'd make our lives a whole lot easier if we could get all that in one place, one place. but <laughs> you get some growth and maybe access, but no safety in some worlds. Mm -hmm. You get safety and access, but no growth in others. And then you can get growth and access, but or maybe limited access, but some safety. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we use those three worlds to say, how old are you? Mm -hmm. What's the purpose of the money? And how much should go in each world rather than 
all things for all yeah. people and we paint with a broad brush that says you should be treated just like the 22 year old that right. might come in after you. We got to leave it there. It's so complicated. We could sit here and talk about this for hours or you can get a copy of the book Building a Better Retirement. This will help. Now we're giving this away to Absolutely. The you actually today you call in, we're more mm -hmm. than happy to give you a complimentary copy of the book. You've got the number on the screen. Mm -hmm. It does say first 10 callers, but if you're number 11, we'll be happy to give you a copy. <laughs> All right. Uh, we look forward to having you come back in the coming weeks. We'll look at back at, at what, what has happened. And um, gosh, just thank you guys so much for coming. Always our Rachel, pleasure. Thank, thank you, you so very much. much. Pleasure to, to see you. Thanks again. Get in touch with the experts at Hill & Hill Financial, their website, hillandhillfinancial.com.